टुडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू डू ब्लॉक नंबर फोर एल पी थ्री वेजिटेटिव प्रोपागेशन थ्रू लीव आर एम इज टू डिस्क्राइब द मैथड ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपागेशन थ्रू लीव प्लांट स्मॉल और यंग प्लांट लेट्स वॉच द वीडियो New plants can grow from the leaves of some plants. They may grow in different ways. Buds form along the margins of the leaves of a bryophyllum. Plantlets grow from the buds. When the leaves fall on the ground, plantlets grow into new plants. Through the generalized discussion, how do some plants reproduce through leaves? Because their leaves at their edges having the buds, and these buds helps to grow into the new plants. What are the benefits for growing plants, such as Sansevieria through the leaf cutting? As it also have the buds, which develop rapidly in the leaves and helps in the growing of the plant, new plant, which doesn't take much time to grow and the new plant that we get is the exact copy of the parent plant and we can also get the desired characteristics of the parent plant in that kind of plant let's do the last lp that is lp4 asexual reproduction compare natural and artificial asexual reproduction in plants let's watch this video asexual reproduction in plants can be natural or artificial ferns reproduce through a natural method called fragmentation layering cutting and grafting are artificial methods through which we can grow new plants they are known as artificial methods of propagation Let's do the generalized discussion. What are the similarities and differences between natural and artificial methods of asexual reproduction in plants? So, natural method and artificial method. Natural method happens naturally, and and it do not require any human effort. Example: fragmentation, gamma formation. artificial method do not happen naturally they require human efforts example cutting grafting and layering so cutting the part of the stem root or leaf is cut and planted in the soil in the grafting method plant is tied over the root of another plant and they start getting the nutrients for the new plant layering the stem close to the ground and covered with the soil what are the benefits of artificial methods of asexual reproduction in plants as these math this method is faster and we get variety of plants on a large scale and at the cheaper cost this is the advantage of this method